everyone this is Akta from computer science department MSRIT. I am going to give an installation and demo about orange tool. Orange is a data visualization and data mining tool. Here you can uh, get the data representation of the some data set. If you get some data set you can represent it in the different way like scattering, plotting and then uh, a table view and different view. Uh, orange is the best tool to give the different visualization representation of data. Today we are going to talk about Orange. Orange is a data visualization and data mining tool. Introduction Orange is a collection of Python based modules that sit over the core library of C++ objects and routines that handles machine learning and data mining algorithm. It is a open source. Orange widgets provide a graphical user interface to Orange data mining and machine learning methods. Widgets and add-ons Orange widgets provide a graphical user interface to Orange data mining and machine learning method. They use widgets for pre-processing, visualization, data mining, etc. Add-ons uh, Orange uses various add-ons available within the Orange to mine the data from external sources. It also performs natural language processing and text mining. It conducts natural uh, network analysis, infer frequent item sets and do association rule mining. Additionally, bioinformatics and molecular biologisticals can use Orange to rank genes by different uh, differential expression and perform enrichment analysis. Features of Orange Orange is a open source and free data mining software tool. It is very platform independent. It support various of Linux, Microsoft Windows, Apple Mac. Programming support Orange supports visual programming tools for data mining. Scripting interface Orange provides Python scripting so that we are downloading Miniconda to run that Python. The main orange features includes visual programming, component based data mining, interactive data exploration, workflow design interface. Visual programming. Uh, orange will give a better user interface. User can focus on the data analysis instead of laborious coding, making a construction of complex data analytics pipeline simple. Component based data mining. Here, each component are called as widgets, embedded some data ritual, pre-processing, visualization, modeling or e evaluation task. Combining different widgets into a workflow enables you to build a comprehensive data analysis schema as you go. Interactive data exploration. Uh, they receive the data on the input and send out filtered or processed data model or anything the widgets do as an output. The, say they start a file widgets and read the data and connect its output to another widgets then it is called a data table and you have a function of workflow uh, alter can change one widget and change the instantaneously propagate through the downstream workflow changing the data file in the file widgets will trigger the response in all downstream widgets workflow design interface it is easy to use even for complete novices. Start with a file widgets and Orange will automatically suggest the next widget that will be connected to it. Orange knows you likely to uh, want hierarchical clustering after you have set up the, your distance widgets. All other defaults in the widgets are also sent in the way that enables a simple analysis uh, even without knowing a whole lot about statistics, machine learning or exploratory data mining in general. Orange Developments In 1997, developed in Bioinformatic Laboratory of Faculty of Computer Science and Information Science. Uh, in 2005, extend data analysis in bioinformatics. In 2008, installation packages were developed. In 2019, over hundreds of widgets were created and maintained. Why to use Orange? Because there is no programming needed, it's just a visual programming and uh, data visualization is done. It is very easy to try different machine learning algorithms. Uh, here we can get different types of lot of add-ons for 
data data visualization like bioinformatics network analysis text mining it is free and open source software installation these are the steps for installation uh, i am going to download the orange from this link now i am going to give the demo of the installation once you click on that link you will get this page here you can download orange for uh, windows uh, ubuntu and uh, apple and all so uh, these are the below steps are given to uh, install it for ubuntu but i am not going through it because i am downloading this orange for windows uh, if you want to download it for windows you just click on this download button since we are already downloaded it, i am going to cancel that uh, you just go to the installer this is the installer click on next and uh, check i agree and you choose whatever you want here and click on next and you choose whatever you want you just click on next again and you choose the source file or uh, the location you click on this install then uh, start installing uh, till this installation reaches 100% now we should wait for that uh, it's going to install all the required packages miniconda uh, orange whatever all required for to run the orange it will install all the packages uh, till this installation done i will give you the description about orange tool and also some features of it As I said earlier, Orange is a open source data visualization, machine learning and data mining toolkit. It features a visual programming front end for explorative data analytics and interactive data visualization and also can be used for Python library. Orange is a compound based visual programming software package for data visualization, machine learning, data mining and data analysis. Orange components are also called as widgets and they range from simple data visualization, sub-selection and pre-processing. Uh, visual programming is implemented through an interface in which workflows are created by linking predefined or user design widgets. While advanced users can also use Python library for data manipulation and widgets alteration. Orange is an open source software package released under GPL. Uh, it has uh, C++ wrappers from version 3.3 onwards. Orange uses common Python uh, open source libraries. Uh, the default installation includes a number of machine learning, pre-processing and data visualization or algorithms in six different widget sets. Data, visualize, classify, regression, evaluation, and unsupervised. Additional functionality was also available by add-ons. Orange is supported on Windows, Linux, and also Mac OS. Orange consists of canvas interface onto which the user places widgets and create data analytic workflows. Uh, it has different types of widgets like canvas, uh, data, visualization, classify, add-ons, etc. Uh, data means which has data input, data filtering, sampling, imputation, feature manipulation, etc. Visualization, which is will give commonly visualization with the uh, help of plots like box plots, cascade plots, and uh, histograms, etc. Classify uh, will have a set of supervised machine learning algorithm for classification. Regression. Regression is a set of supervised machine learning algorithms for regression. Evaluate. Cross-validation and sampling-based procedure, reliability estimation and scoring of prediction methods can be evaluated. Unsupervised. Unsupervised uh, learning algorithm for clustering. Clustering means claim means clustering, hierarchical clustering and data projection techniques. Ah, we can get also add-ons like associate add-ons, bioinformatics, data fusion, educational, network, and text mining, time series, etc.
once this program bus reaches 100% then it is completed you just click on the next button uh, after this you will get a screen to finish this installation uh, just click on finish okay double click in on this orange tool get this screen you can open a new file or already saved one uh, here you also you can get the tutorials for the uh, orange okay I'm closing it uh, here we have a lot of classes data visualize model evaluate and unsupervised okay here data we have file data set SQL table uh, data table paint text edit uh, class create or python scripting merge data etc there are different options along with this option you can also see the description of it how to load the data how what are the number of inputs outputs etc uh, go to now go to visualize here you can visualize the data by using different tree weaver scatter plotting box plotting slip plotting etc go to model uh, model here you can get to uh, different structures like neural network tree uh, and then SVM linear regression these all are the options to represent your data and here also you can see the what all the input for that data preprocessor are the input outputs are learner model and coefficient and then go to the evaluate it just to evaluate is to just to test the data and how product the data you can have, see you can get also the graphical representation of it here unsupervised here we can you can get the hierarchical clustering uh, correspondence analysis ml k means distance files uh, distance map etc these are the cl classes different classes according to some similar functionality they are grouped into different class the better knowledge of this i will uh, give a some example okay now i am taking a file it has output channel and double click on that file you can browse the different data sets a lot of data sets here so anything which you want you just close it out i am taking the titanic data set uh, titanic data set of different categories like status age sex survivor here when the titanic ship uh, sunk uh, that some people were survived and some people were dead uh, how many female people male and child how many uh, people are present in first class second class and third class all the details of that will be uh, stored in this data set here we here we have 2201 instance three features and two values classes so i'm going to select this thing and just take in data table you can also remove this feature from here by clicking on remove uh, now connect file and data set like this okay once you uh, join just double click on the data table data table co contains all the uh, data from that file uh, here also you can see uh, 2201 instance three features and classes with two values um, okay close this window uh, to get to better description of this data I'm going to select a tree from here you drag and drop wherever you want okay join this file with this tree okay and to get the better visualization go to visualize and take the tree viewer you just join this tree with the tree viewer okay uh, for each when you click on this you can get the description of that widgets okay 
you just join with double click on the tree viewer you can get this tree see you can see different types of it is the representation of tree uh, based on the sex female or classes of it uh, how percentage of their survival and how many are survived in different uh, uh, like first class second class and third class you can also select the levels over here I'm going to select for okay so here you can see the tree view I'm closing it now in the same way you can also get different types of plots um, I can also get box plot just connect this over here double click on it uh, you can see this plot here uh, yes some are server and some are not how many people are served in first class, second class and third and which are not served or which are dead in first, second and third class. We can also get different uh, visual representation of data. Okay. Then try some other things. I am going to try sleep diagram. Okay. Just connect file with the diagram. Double click on it. Yeah, you can see different types of diagram representation of the same data set. Okay, okay. Uh, now I am going to open a new new file. Test to give some title for that. Okay, go to data and select a file. Close the file by double click on it. Um, okay, browse file whichever you want. I will choose some file from it vehicle table. Okay, open here different types of things like apply. Okay. Close it. Yes, close it. Okay, just connect that table to the data table now file is yeah double click on the data table we can get different types of vehicles like bus van uh, how how the kappa compactness circularity distance circularity different different uh, data of the data table advantages of orange it is open source data mining package it works as a script and also as with the etl workflow gui it can use small short scripts orange is very easy tool to learn python is easier for most all the programs to learn and it has better debugger some other tools similar to the orange are Rapid Miner, Weka, Nine, Art Programming, NLTK. Rapid Miner is written in Java programming language. This tool offers advanced analytic through template based framework. You user hardly have to write any code offered as a service rather than the piece of local software. This tool shows top position on the list of data mining tools. Okay, next Weka. Weka is virtually non-Java version of Weka. Primarily was developed for analyzing data from agriculture domain. With Java-based version, the tool is very sophisticated and used in many different applications include visualization, algorithms for data analytics, productive modeling, and it is free under the GNU uh, general public license, which is big plus compared to the rapid manner because users can customize it however they please. Then nine. Okay. Uh, it is a data pre-processing has done in three uh, components extraction transformation and loading line does all three it gives you a graphical user interface to allow for the assemble of nodes for data processing it is an open source data analytics reporting and integrated platform platform Nine also also integrate various components for machine learning and data mining through its modular data pipelining concept. 
and then art programming as you all know art programming uh, is written in c or python and uh, and a lot of modules are written in r itself it is free software programming language and software environment for so statistical computing and graphics r language is widely used among data miners for developing statistical software in data analysis each of the use and extensibility has raised r popularity sustainability in recent year areas besides data mining it provides statistical and graphical technique include linear and non linear modeling classic statistical test time series analysis classification and cluster and other things are done through our uh, programming next nltk when it come to the language processing task nothing can beat nltk nltk provides a pool of languages processing tools including data mining machine learning data scraping sentiment analysis and other various language processing tasks all you need to install nltk put a package for your favorite task and you are ready to go because it is written in python you can build the application on top of it customize it for all other tasks limitations of orange the installation process is so big and we need to install qt it supports limited number of machine learning algorithms i'm concluding this orange uh, data visualization can be done easily no programming language is needed it is very easy to try different machine learning algorithms